Hey, Jason here from National Camera Exchange again. In this tutorial, we're going to look over keywording in Lightroom. We talked a little bit about how you can keyword some in the import module, but this is where we're actually going to get more specific about keywording. Pretty much all my keywording wants needs to be done in the grid view here, so I can apply it to many different pictures at the same time. And over here in the right-hand panel, this is where I'm going to apply my keywords. So I'm going to start by uh, keywording as many images that I can at once and I'm gonna select all the images here because all these images were taken in the Badlands of South Dakota so if I do command A on a Mac or control A on a PC I've selected all the images and I'm gonna keyword over here keywords can work kinda of like a hierarchy like your folder structure on your computer so sometimes I use that and in this case I'm going to I'm going to say that all these images were captured in the South Dakota and you can see I've done this in the past but um, and after South Dakota you can see over here that South Dakota is less than the United States so it's gonna put this keyword underneath the United States and now that that I'm done typing that keyword I can actually hit the enter key and that is applied to all the selected images if um, if the keyword is if one keyword is applied to only a single image it would actually have an asterisk next to it um, but for right now and you can see it as I hover it kinda tells you that but for right now we're just gonna keyword everything and like I said these are all taken to the Badlands so I'm gonna go back in here and I'm going to separate that set of keywords by using a comma from my next set and these ones I'm going to type in Badlands and Badlands is a national park so I'm actually going to make that less than um, national parks and again I hit the enter key if I want to commit that but um, on these ones that's all I'm going to apply to everything so I actually will hit enter here if I want to add keywords to just a few of the images, I'm going to deselect these so I can go down here, but everything's still selected. So the way I deselect everything would be Command D or Control D. So now nothing's selected, but if I select this image here, we've got some bighorn sheep. And as you can see, I've got several images in a row that are bighorn sheep. So I'm going to go to the last image that I've got that's kind of in this series. And if I hold the Shift button down, and I select that image you can see all the images in between were selected and these are all tagged still as Badlands South Dakota and the United States and if I put a comma here I'm going I can also add bighorn sheep and you can see I've used it before I prefer not to have it all caps though so I'm just gonna type it back in and if I hit enter that applies it or if I wanted to I could add the less than and say underneath wildlife and I hit enter and now all these images are if I hit enter a second time I get out all these images are um, bighorn sheep and you can see if I add one more image and I can add one more image to my selection by hitting the um, command button holding the command button down and I click on this it just adds one more image and I can see where that asterisk comes into play so that's for the most part how we do our keywording it's a good idea to be pretty specific about your keywording so if you know when I go through and keyword these for real I will actually keyword them as either vertical or, or horizontal shots I will go through and um, keyword them as landscape I might keyword them as overall colors so if I have a lot of blues and greens I might use blue and green as a keyword and I'd get really specific that way later if I'm looking for a specific image I can actually search my images based on a keyword so I could look at bighorn sheep in a vertical you know format and then in other situations you know I like to you know shoot pictures of my family and I would actually use you know um, my family members name and the activity they're in so you can get really specific about your keywords and just keep on adding them in and it just makes it easier and easier to search for um, when you're looking later you can see down here you've got some suggested keywords and um, keyword sets you can change what's in this keyword set if you use the same set of keywords for a certain set of images you know weddings or something like that and down below that you have the keyword list and you can see in the keyword list all the keywords that I've used and in this case so you can see that you know I put um, South Dakota under the United States and it still shows them both because South Dakota is actually in here a couple different times but just what happens when you're making tutorials so you look down here in this keyword list you can see United States 
and underneath the United States, you can see South Dakota has, you know, 398 images. Now, if I wanted to, I could just select this little arrow here, and that would show me only the images that are um, used by that keyword. So the other keywords we used is um, bighorn sheep. And if I go up here, they're in alphabetical order. You can see bighorn sheep here. And I can select this little arrow, and now I'm only looking at the 31 images that are part of that bighorn sheep. The other thing I can do is you can see that, you know, like I said, South Dakota is actually in here a couple different times. So if I find that, see, I've got a keyword here, South Dakota, and it's got three images underneath it. If I click on that and I drag it down, I can place that underneath the United States and it'll combine it with that other keyword. And now when I look at my images, I don't um, have to worry about having South Dakota in multiple places. So that's the basics of keywording. Thanks for watching. For more tutorials, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Let us know in the comments below what other tutorials you'd like to see. Until next time, I'm Jason with National Camera Exchange.